Hey guys, so this is one of the extras for my Skillshare class. I want to make a rug. I want to make a, a texture for it. So it's not just like a plain, um, you know, something like this. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to need a picture of, of a knitted texture. So I'm going to get out of this and go to the good old internet. And I like to use... Um, is it Pexels? I think it is. Pexels is a site where you can find free, uh, <clears throat> free photos, free images, things like that. And it's just nice because you don't really have to worry about, you know, using this stuff. So we'll do knit texture. Okay, so we have some nice knit knitted textures here so hopefully we can find one that will fit our needs this one is pretty good let's tap on this maybe we'll see some other ones that are similar These are all really nice. So I don't know if this texture will work, but let's try, let's try this one. So I'm gonna download it. There we go. I'm just gonna open it in Procreate. Okay, sending the Pro Procreate. So now let's open Procreate and let's go to our gallery. And here we have it opened up so we actually don't need we need it to be in a square so I'm going to change the canvas size crop and resize um, maybe I can just pull this out I want it to be a square So maybe we'll just do <clears throat> okay so let's do another square setting so this is 4,000 by 4,000 I'll make it 300 done okay so now at least we know it's a square let's see if we can duplicate this and just sort of See if we can get more out of it. There we go. Let's move this up a little bit. Actually, let's stretch it up a little bit. So I'm going to go to freeform and just stretch it up. And that looks pretty good. That looks good enough. So I'm going to merge these, and then I'm going to take all the color out by going to Adjustments, Hue Saturation, and not, actually there's not really that much color, but uh, that's fine. And I might want to see if I can boost, because the, the texture is going to take from the different shades of, of dark and gray. So I might want to go to Curves. Here we go. It really makes those, uh, really makes it pop. So that's good. So this is what we want. So this will be, this can be our texture. Hopefully this will work. So let's go ahead and save this. Actually, we could, we could make it smaller. It's, it's quite big. Let's, let's uh, change the size and just make it smaller. I think resample canvas means I can change it. Yeah, and it just it just keeps everything the same, but it just makes it smaller. So now I'm going to go ahead and save this. Share. I'll just save it as a JPEG. And save image. Let's see if we can send it to Nomad Sculpt right from here. No. Okay, so I saved it. And now let's go into Nomad Sculpt. 
and let's go to, I use the brush tool and then I go here, I tap here and you see I have all my little things I use for textures. I'm gonna add the plus, photos, we'll add our knit, add, and then it shows up here. So before we put the, oh no. Okay, it's always, it's always trying to crash on me. So let's make sure our, our texture is still there. Okay, it's still here. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna we wanna be able to put that those fine details in the rug. So tap on the rug. You can see rug is chosen here, and we wanna subdivide it. So there's once 76. I'll do it again, 304. So that should be plenty for our rug. And next we wanna to go to brush. We want to tap this little box here and then we're going to choose our knit now if you have issues with this so obviously we have a lot of settings here for our brush settings you can see all this right here and this can be a little tricky uh, i think this will all stay uh, the way it's supposed to be i don't use surface i use screen project my fall off there's a lot of fall offs so i kind of just have a round one uh, that should be fine. Uh, usually I have this checked, dot. Now these are what's interesting. Um, I'm just gonna take it off, allow dynamic typology. So these are very important. I'm gonna hit front facing vertex only, because that's important. I'll also up here, I'm gonna do share radius, I think. Do I wanna do share radius or world radius? Let me see. I think I want. I think I want world radius. Let's see. So let's do a little test here. I always turn turn the intensity down really low. So let's do a little test. Oh, that looks pretty good. It does look like a sweater. So let's try the other one. Let's uncheck this and check share radius. Okay, so it's not really that much difference. I'm gonna turn the intensity down even lower. I'm gonna make this bigger. So let's see what we have now. And I'm, I'm really, really light on it. So it kind of makes the rug kind of raise up a little bit but I mean it looks it did a pretty, pretty decent job to be honest with you it did a pretty decent job so you can just sort of play around with that until you get something that you like let's see what it looks like if I make it really big I mean it looks like a rug it really does look like a rug. So we'll stick with this one. Um, I want to change the color to this sort of like light beige. I don't think I want it white, and I don't want I don't want I don't want it to be glossy like that. So I'm going to bring the roughness up. So we'll paint it like that. Although it's kind of close to those, but I like it. And you can also, so I'm gonna hit solo, so I just have the rug. This rug is funny looking. I have an idea. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna color the rug first. And now I'm going to use the brush. I'm gonna use the texture. Let's see how that looks. It definitely looks like a rug. And I wanted to actually paint it. But let's see how the paint 
actually looks. Oops, I didn't mean to move that light. Let's see how the paint looks. I'm gonna grab this color and just make it lighter. And I wanna, let's go to paint. So high intensity, the brush doesn't need to be that big. Top. Make the brush smaller. Make the brush even smaller. There we go. We'll just make some Southwest style lines on it. Make some dots. Something like that. So now we have a nice little patterned rug. I think that looks great. So that could just kind of shows you there's a lot of different um, there's a lot of different textures and things that you can do. Um, I like the other texture I had. Let me solo this again. So before when I did the test, let me get rid of these lights. Before when I did the test, I was using a different. Let me go back to brush. I was using a different. Uh, texture not the one that we just made I'm just using this just a regular like kind of knitted knitted texture so let's do this one again oh you take the color off it's so very light I kind of want to get it all in one pass So yeah, this is pretty much how it looks like without having uh, those those certain details that the other texture had. But now I'm gonna color this, same color. We'll make the brush size smaller. And see if we can do our lines a little bit nicer this time. here and we'll do a dot here we'll do two dots up here something like that and we'll do that for our rug I think that looks good now let's also, since I since I have you here, let's add some more textures to, let's add a texture to this guy. So, see that was 13 minutes. So let's tag him, vessel, or vase one, vessel. Okay, so he that's 13.5K, so I'm gonna subdivide it once. We'll try it there. So we'll go with brush. And you can get other, the same way we did the, the, the photo, the square photo for the rug, you can get lots of other uh, textures. For this one, I'm going to use uh, kind of this sort of brushed texture. Let's see how that looks. You know what? Let's turn post-process off so we can see everything nice and clearly. make the brush bigger can't really see much let's make sure the brush is yeah, it is screen project so let's so if you don't really see much texture then you might have to just uh, subdivide again so let's see now there we go that's that's better Sometimes it looks like it's it, it's raising, but it's not. So I'm gonna turn the, the intensity down. I'll make the brush bigger. So now let's see what we have. 
There we go. And then we have some, let's solo it. Give it some nice texture all around. Maybe we'll make a little, some little nicks in it from, we'll use crease. We can grab the color of this. And we can make it a little bit darker. And we'll make the crease, we'll, we'll lower the intensity. And maybe we'll put like a crease in it up here. There's some little details. So let's hit solo. here sometimes another thing that I do it's like for example this cactus I'll grab the color of it and sometimes I'll just go a little bit darker and then I'll take my brush notice my brush has been acting a bit funny So, and sometimes I'll just, let's, do I want to solo it? No, I'm not going to solo it, but I'm going to lock it. So I'm going to lock it so I don't paint on anything else. If you don't see lock here, then go up to the, the is it here? Where is it? Oh, there we go. Go up to this little menu and you can hit lock selection. You can see that it shows up down here. There's some other things up here too that you can you can make shortcuts for. So now we're on a cactus, we'll lock it. And then sometimes I just color in the bottom. We'll put the intensity a little bit lower. And then I just sort of give it a little more shadow than it actually has. Turn the intensity up some around the bottom. And sometimes I'll do that, like even like underneath here, like on the floor, which is another thing altogether. I kind of want to cut, I kind of want to get rid of this floor or just like change the, uh, the color of the floor. But maybe we'll do that in another, another video. I don't think I can, I don't think I can do it that quickly. Uh, well, let's, let's try. I'm going to try this really quick. So I'm gonna go back to orthographic. Oh, I'm, I'm in orthographic. So I'm in orthographic, I'm gonna hit right. Whoop. And now I'm gonna use trim and rectangle. And I'm gonna to try to cut the floor. go back redo paint why did that not trim oh you know what I'm locked to the cactus that's what it is so let me go to the wall lock so I don't do that accidentally again trim rectangle so I've trimmed the floor Although, uh, no, I think that was good. I think that was the right move. The only other option that I'm thinking is instead of trimming it, we could do split rectangle. And we can actually do the same thing. And that should create our floor. It does make it a little weird here. But let's see if we raise it up a little bit. 
So now I'm gonna label this, should be at the bottom. Okay, we have the main wall, and I'm gonna label the bottom one floor. Okay. So what do we wanna do? Let's see if we can raise this up a little bit. Cause you notice this dark around the edges, which I don't really mind. You can, so bringing it up actually helps, but I'm gonna have to bring everything else up. But it's not too bad. Do we want to change the color of the floor? Let's go back to perspective now. I like looking at it in perspective. So if we, maybe we want to change the color of the floor. Let's see. White. I think we want it glossy. So now we have a kind of a different colored floor and we're one point eight three million. So let's get let's get kind of crazy with it. Um let's do this. I've kind of wanted to do this before. Let's make a make a box and we'll make it really small I'm actually gonna go back to orthographic I know I know I hate it too it's actually not bad I actually don't hate it So I'd like to, I'd like to squeeze it. Make it as long as the wall. And this side. Stretch it up a little bit. Maybe we'll squeeze it together some more. And maybe we'll make this white. Maybe like a rough off white, but pretty light. Here are the top search results. I didn't ask you anything, Google. Sheesh. Okay, so now we have that. That actually doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of nice. So let's, uh... I can't remember what that's called along the floor. Floor, we'll just call it floor, floor trim. And... Where's the little validate thing? Oh, let me go to my gizmo. So yeah, let's let's validate it. Clone it. I'll do snap. Snap makes it go 90 degrees. So then all I have to do is bring it to the other wall. Make this bigger so we can sort of see how we're working. So I'm going to bring that to the edge here, and then we want to bring it kind of into the wall a little bit, like so, and 
can probably just have to trim it from this side. But that's easy. We'll just tap on left, trim, and just trim that off. I think that looks great. And now for the wall, you know, maybe I want to add a little bit of, a little bit of ambiance. So let's, let's match this color. Let's go to paint. I want to match this color a little bit. And make it a little darker. Oh, let me unlock. Always gotta unlock. I'm just adding a little bit of, uh, just a little something along the bottom of the, the windowsill and around the windowsill. Just a little bit of uh, flavor. I can even add some down here too, like along the edges maybe in the corner. Just so the place is not like super, super spick and span clean. I think that's good. And last but not least, since we still have some space left, so I'm gonna tap on the floor, I'm gonna lock it. And the floor is 86, so let's subdivide it once and now for texture you can do the same thing with wood textures so I'm gonna go to brush go here find one of my wood textures and all of these I get from like you know like pexels and I just bring them into Photoshop so here's my here's my wood that was weird to say let's solo it Okay, so we now we have the top view, brush, wood texture. Let's go in, make sure our settings are looking okay. Everything looks good. Front facing vertex, let's make this big. And now let's see if we can get, oop. The only issues I have sometimes is keeping, keeping these going straight down. I haven't really figured out a fix for that, but I think this looks decent actually. This should be a decent floor. So let's unsolo it. Solo it again. It looks pretty good. It's not the clearest. But I think the only way to make it really clear would be to, I think I would have to subdivide again and it would be really big. And I don't think I really wanna do that. Let's see if I bring the intensity down. Okay, so I'm kind of, I'm liking that so far. So that's a nice, that's a nice looking floor. Let's make sure I like the color of it. Make sure we don't want to change the color to like a darker wood. That's kind of nice. Darker wood's kind of nice too, though, huh? Kind of like that. So let's solo it. Now that I changed the color, let's make a look. No, I think that looks pretty good. Actually, no, I didn't change the color, did I? That looks a little too modern.
Okay, I think I like that. So now that we have this color, let's solo it again. And this is, I really like doing this. I'm just gonna use crease, really small. And I'm gonna just sorta color in these little bits. Oh, there's another thing that I'm forgetting. I wanna make the color a little bit darker. And this is on crease, this is all crease. So what that does is it kind of colors in the crease tool. And sometimes I'll even do these bit smaller and this just gives it a little more character Gives the wood a little more flavor. Do a little bit of Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And you could go into smudge a little bit and you can kind of smudge it up if you want to get crazy, but we don't have to really get crazy here. I think that looks good. I think that looks great. You could do also do the same thing with the bench. There's just so much you can do, but I'm pretty happy with this. I like the little rug. I think it looks good. So let's oh, let's do perspective. There we go. Perspective and oh, and post process. Yes, I get so excited. So let's check out our views. So this is a view. This is a view. Whole scene. So we can see our whole scene here. And I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. I think that looks good. Okay, so I'll save this. Let me save this as. I'll save as, and then I'll export it. We'll go ahead and do 4K. Sometimes I like to just play with the lights, see what I see. You know, this is also very pretty. Oh, 
I'll save this as a screen. And I'll turn these on. I'll save this as screen as well. Okay. So yeah, that was just a little bit, just a little extras. Uh, I do have those textures available on my Gumroad, uh, and the link will be in the video uh, if you want to just use my my uh, textures. But I, I thought it was important that I just show you how I make the textures. So if you want to take the extra time to make your own, you can definitely do that. Uh, all right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I will catch you all in the next video. Shout out to all of you guys who took the class. I, I, I appreciate it. Um, Let's keep going. Let's keep learning more and more and more. I'm gonna show you everything I know because I love to do it. All right, catch you all in the next one. Peace.